Every logical fallacy explained using only memes. Ad hominem fallacy. An ad hominem fallacy occurs when someone attacks the person making the argument rather than addressing the argument itself. Imagine dismissing someone's opinion simply because they're not a scientist. The truth is, their personal background doesn't necessarily make their argument wrong. What matters is the content of what they're saying. Straw man fallacy. The straw man fallacy involves misrepresenting or exaggerating someone else's argument to make it easier to attack, and then attack this made-up version of his argument, rather than the real argument he was presenting. Appeal to ignorance. The appeal to ignorance fallacy occurs when it's argued that something must be true because it hasn't been proven false, or vice versa. An example is saying, no one has proven that aliens don't exist, so they must be real. The absence of evidence isn't evidence of absence. But it's true guys. Alien definitely don't exist. False dilemma. A false dilemma presents only two options when, in reality, there exist other options. For example, saying, either you marry someone who loves pineapple on pizza, or you'll be single forever. Ignoring that other people can like chocolate on pizza that you can marry. Even though you shouldn't marry someone who puts pineapple on pizza, because they clearly suck. If you're enjoying the video, make sure to spread the alien propaganda by debating your teacher into believing that subscribing to me is better for the students. So my channel gets more famous. Slippery Slope the slippery slope fallacy assumes that one action will lead to a series of other actions resulting in an extreme outcome, without sufficient evidence for such a progression. For instance, if you start letting your dog sleep in your bed, next thing you know, he'll take over your entire house. No. Circular reasoning. In circular reasoning, the conclusion is assumed within the premise, essentially arguing in a circle. For example, why is this restaurant the best in town? Because everyone says it's the best. And why does everyone say it's the best? Because it's the best restaurant in town. Hasty generalization. A hasty generalization occurs when a broad conclusion is drawn from a small or unrepresentative sample. For instance, I met two rude people from France, so all French people must be rude, unfairly generalizes a whole population based on limited experience. Even if French people are actually the worst. Appeal to authority. The appeal to authority fallacy argues that a claim must be true because an authority figure says it is. For example, a famous actor says this diet is the best, so it must be effective, relies on the actor's fame rather than any real evidence. Bandwagon fallacy. The bandwagon fallacy argues that something is true or good because it's popular. For instance, everyone else is doing it, so it must be right, suggests that popularity equals correctness, which isn't necessarily true. Red herring. A red herring introduces an irrelevant topic to divert attention from the original issue. For example, why worry about climate change when we have economic problems to solve, shifts focus away from the actual topic being discussed. Appeal to emotion. An appeal to emotion manipulates an emotional response instead of presenting a logical argument. An example is, think of the children. We must ban all violent video games, which plays on emotions rather than addressing whether video games are bad or not. 2 quo q fallacy. The 2 quo q fallacy, or as I like to call it, U2, occurs when someone deflects criticism by accusing the critic of the same problem. For example, you say I shouldn't lie, but you lie all the time, sidesteps the original criticism instead of addressing it. False equivalence. False equivalence happens when two unrelated things are compared as if they are the same. For example, letting your cat walk on the kitchen counter is just like letting a toddler drive a car. Equates vastly different situations as if they were identical. Non sequitur. A non sequitur fallacy occurs when the conclusion doesn't logically follow from the premises. For instance, she drives a nice car, so she must be wealthy, assumes a direct connection that may not actually exist. No true Scotsman. This fallacy occurs when someone gives a generalization, but when countered with a break to their generalization, they reply by claiming they don't count because they are not oh true examples. For instance, no true Scotsman puts sugar in his coffee, and when someone mentions a Scotsman who does, the response is, well, no true Scotsman would. Appeal to tradition. This fallacy argues that something must be right or better because it has always been done that way. For example, we've always celebrated this holiday with fireworks, so it's the best way to do it. False analogy. This occurs when someone makes a comparison between two things that aren't truly comparable. For example, running a business is just like playing chess, both require strategy. While both involve strategy, the differences are significant enough to make this analogy weak. Cherry picking. This fallacy involves selecting only the evidence that supports your argument while ignoring evidence that contradicts it. For example, our company has had five successful product launches, so we're clearly doing everything right, while ignoring the ten failed launches. Gambler's fallacy. This is the belief that past events can influence the probability of future events in situations where each event is actually independent. For example, I've flipped a coin and gotten heads five times in a row, so the next flip has to be tails. Loaded question. A loaded question contains a presupposition that traps the respondent, no matter how they answer. For example, have you stopped cheating on exams? 
Whether the answer is yes or no, it implies that the person has cheated. Middle ground. This fallacy assumes that the truth must lie between two extremes. For example, some people say the earth is flat, and others say it's round. So, the truth must be somewhere in between. Appeal to nature. This fallacy assumes that because something is natural, it is inherently good or right. For example, you should eat this herbal supplement because it's all natural, as if being natural automatically makes it safe or effective. Like if hallucinogenic shrooms or poisonous fruits don't actually exist. Argumentum ad baculum. This fallacy occurs when someone uses threats or force to coerce acceptance of a conclusion rather than providing a logical argument. For example, you better agree with me or I will give you a wedgie. Post hoc ergo propter hoc. This fallacy that I won't pronounce again assumes that because one event followed another, the first must have caused the second. For example, I wore my lucky socks, and we won the game, so the socks must have helped us win, incorrectly links the two events. And this is the end of the video. Make sure to support by liking the video you absolute lovely humans, and goodbye.